Hey everyone, meet Black Friday coupon code here. There's been a lot of talk about banning TikTok, and that talk has ramped up recently, especially as the FBI is now expressing extreme concern over security lapses at TikTok. In this video, I'm going to break down whether it's actually potentially likely that TikTok ends up getting banned in the United States. That means no more TikTok on the app stores for Android, Apple, or otherwise. I doubt any kind of IP bans would work since I think pretty much all of us are familiar or capable of using a VPN, which now just takes the click of a button. But good news is this video is not brought to you by a VPN provider. It's just brought to you by the courses on building your wealth link down below and the Elite Hustlers a new course launching on Friday. So let's talk about this. First, we have bipartisan calls now to ban TikTok within Congress. Some folks say this is just political posturing, but it's interesting because you're getting this posturing from both sides. We just had Mark Warner go on Fox, top-ranking Democrat from the Senate Intelligence Committee, saying that, quote, I think Trump was right about banning TikTok. See, remember Donald Trump tried to ban TikTok in 2020, citing a national security threat, as of course he was duking things out with China, which he pretty much did for his entire four years as president. Remember, some of the biggest tariffs against China were actually implemented under Donald Trump, especially and including 15 to 25% tariffs on chips, which some say have helped lead to the ballooning of actually the Chinese chip industry, making their homegrown chip industry much more popular. Of course, Biden has picked up the pace here and has also introduced recently with the Chips Act, even more tariffs against Chinese chips and making it harder for them to get access to high-end artificial intelligence capable chips. Of course, companies like NVIDIA and AMD who sell about 25% of, or get about 25% of their revenue from China are like, we'll be fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll just, we'll just make a new chip that's compliant. Anyway, obviously a lot of tension between the United States and China, but Mark Warner, uh, Warmer, excuse me, warns that there are two problems with TikTok. One is that information is being gathered from our children and that it's being stored in Beijing. TikTok has regularly said, no, we store your information in the United States. But now we've got other senators and the FCC commissioner saying, yeah, well, we have evidence that while maybe you do store the information in the United States, you also potentially store the information in Singapore as a backup. And that potentially also still makes it to Beijing, which since the Communist Party of China has the power to tell companies what to do, it's entirely possible for the CCP to say, hey, we want you to give us all the data you have or allow us to look at it. And that data could be quite sensitive. So not just knowing what children are doing on TikTok, but potentially knowing what everybody's doing on TikTok who uses TikTok or knowing what anybody does on their phone just by having TikTok installed. Oh, and quick reminder, that coupon code now also comes with a $5 million trading portfolio challenge if you join the Stocks and Psychology of Money course by Black Friday. Make sure you join that because the challenge begins next Monday. Look forward to seeing you there. Remember, you get lifetime access to the lectures, and as long as we do the live streams, you got access. No monthly fees at all. Some suggest that TikTok could potentially not only access your contacts, which you usually give permission to, to find friends on TikTok, but also get phone numbers, birth dates, face ID information, so biometric information, access to your camera, and access to your location data. This has led security personnel in the United States and military personnel to actually be encouraged or required to completely delete TikTok from their phone some people, like the FCC commissioner, go as far as saying, not only should you delete TikTok from your phone, but you should just get a whole new phone. Now, some of this just seems extreme because I, I don't think people are gonna go delete an app and then go get a brand new phone, but the FBI, Mark Warner, and many others are now suggesting, look, it's not just the fact that they have potentially access to all of our data, it's the fact that they could now potentially, that is Chinese, could use TikTok to influence Americans. 
What if all of a sudden we start getting pushed some more pro-Chinese vlogs and we start getting down votes on or, or seeing fewer critical Chinese posts? What if they want to influence our elections in theory by promoting more of one candidate versus another? What if essentially they could brainwash Americans using a social media app that we think of as entertainment? Now, because of this, Senators like Marco Rubio and Gallagher have on the 10th of November here, 2022, introduced a bill that would actually ban TikTok. Now, of course, whether that's actually going to go anywhere is up to question. And I'm going to give you some of my thoughts on what I actually think might happen or might not happen with TikTok. But consider this. TikTok, as of the last data set that we got, of September 2021, had 1 billion active users monthly. That's like as many users as Elon Musk wishes Twitter has. Twitter would have to grow about four to five X to get to a billion users on an active basis monthly. And one billion also represents about one in seven to one in eight people who l exist in the world, which given the fact that not everybody in the world actually has a cell phone or not everybody in the world is actually capable of using TikTok because some people are too old, some people are too young, it's kind of interesting to think of how prolific TikTok actually is. And it doesn't help that BuzzFeed, and this is a, you know, usually when we cite BuzzFeed, it's kind of like really BuzzFeed, but this is a report that is circulated throughout the US government pretty regular, regularly. And it doesn't help that BuzzFeed is reporting that in June, Chinese employees at ByteDance confirmed that essentially they have access to monitor our locations and some of our uh, data birthdays, phone numbers, and so on. Of course, TikTok's owner, ByteDance, and the CEO suggest, no, we want to work with regulators, and we're totally willing to work with regulators. Uh, and one of the biggest is actually CFIUS. This is the Committee on Foreign Investment in the U.S., and they're working with TikTok on leading reg the regulatory charge to make sure there are indeed robust protocols and oversight by U.S. regulators, as the CEO of TikTok says is a top priority for him. But the Biden administration hasn't really been pushing for concerns over TikTok or resolving concerns over TikTok. So a lot of folks are skeptical that this organization, CFI US, some people call it CFIUS, CFIUS, something like that whatever you want to call it. It's, it's the same organization. It's a part of the Treasury Department. Uh, and uh, some folks are just saying Biden the Biden administration isn't actually giving them enough pressure to make sure that TikTok is ensuring our data is safe as soon as possible. Biden has mostly been relaxed about concerns over TikTok compared to certainly Trump. Now, I personally also wonder if I have TikTok on my phone, does that mean they could potentially have access to password apps on your phone, like the ones built into the Apple uh, ecosystem, the Android ecosystem, Safari, Chrome, or other password apps. That would be concerning because that potentially then has access to everything. Your passport numbers, your social security numbers, your bank account numbers, your credit card numbers. And that's not really popular. But what else is not really popular is the idea of actually banning TikTok. See, Telling Google and Apple to ban TikTok probably won't work given the free enterprise market that we have in America. Regulating TikTok might work, but it's going to be really hard to make sure data doesn't end up flowing over to Beijing. You could, on a localized basis, have companies say, hey, you're not allowed to have TikTok on your company phone, or military departments might say, hey, you have to install these endpoint management systems that ban you from having TikTok on your phone. That's entirely possible as well, and probably the more likely direction, since the FCC can't ban TikTok alone, the Pentagon can't ban TikTok alone, maybe Congress can do it, but we don't think Congress is going to do anything for the next two years, since they pretty much can't agree on anything other than barely eking through a budget. And now we're back to gridlock, where Republicans control the House and Democrats control the Senate. And since this isn't really a big bipartisan priority, even though you do have senators from both sides of the aisle interested in banning TikTok, it seems unlikely that before the 2024 election, anything's ever going to change with TikTok. So what's my take? Well, my take is 
TikTok isn't going anywhere anytime soon. It would be extremely unpopular with a lot of people, including my wife, and it would anger a lot of people. Sure, people could just go to YouTube Shorts and Instagram, which they probably would if it were banned, but the odds of it actually getting banned are pretty dang low. And if you're concerned, yeah, maybe you want to delete TikTok. If you're not concerned, then business as usual, I suppose, and good luck. But if you start seeing more Chinese propaganda, now you might know why.